Hello. Before I start, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I work as a teacher on fifth grade in elementary school, and in my class there are 16 pupils. The text I've chosen is a poem called Nothing to be Afraid of by Clara J. Denton. It is about Halloween, and I believe that Halloween is important to kids, so I'm hoping that their motivation to learn is higher when talking about something they're interested in. These are the learning objects I uh, have been working by when planning this. Uh, in oral communication, it's important that pupils understand and use vocabulary, excuse me, vocabulary related to familiar subjects. And it is also important that they can express and justify their own meanings about familiar subjects. When it comes to culture, society and literature, uh, they should be able to tell about persons, places and events from countries with English primary language. Uh, I feel that Halloween is coming uh, the way we like it or the way we celebrate it. It is coming from the English speaking part of the world. So that is why I included that learning object. When it comes to written communication, it's important that pupils um, is able to write coherent texts that tells, retells, describes experiences and expresses their own meaning. My main objective this year is to work on the pupils' ability to use full sentences when they talk and write English. Therefore, I will spend a good amount of time talking about Halloween in class during these lessons so that they are familiar with the subject they are talking and writing about. I will also talk about Halloween in the subject Norwegian. There I will talk about the history and origin of Halloween as we celebrate it in Norway. I start the lesson with informing the pupils about this week learning ob objectives. I choose to do this in Norwegian so that I know that everybody understands what we will be working on this week. These learning objectives is also written on the week schedule I send home to the parents every week. And this is the poem. After the learning objectives, I tell the pupils what I expect of them this week. Uh, I tell them that they, are, they should be able to read and understand the poem. I expect them to learn the new words that they get on a list. And I inform that there will be, will be a glossary test at the end of the week. And I also tell them that they will be writing a small text about the perfect Halloween during this week. There are a total of three lessons that I uh, plan to talk about uh, today. Um, the reason I include all three lessons is that the pupils in fifth grade have not yet learned how to proper prepare to a lesson, but are used to showing up more or less unprepared, so I need more lessons to thoroughly work through a subject. Lesson number one. Read the text allowed to the class. That is the first thing I do with every new text. I do so so that they can listen to my pronunciation of every word and listen to see if there are any words they do not understand. Secondly, I let the class be parrots. That is what we call it when they repeat what I read. I read three to seven words aloud and let them repeat before I continue. If the response is somewhat weak or I may 
read the same sentence over and over again until I am pleased with how they repeat it. If I hear more than one pupil pronouncing a word incorrectly, I may stop to talk about how that particular word should be pronounced. The third phase in introducing a text is translation. During this, I read um, one sentence in English before translating it into Norwegian. After the translation, the pupils write down the new words with a Norwegian translation in the glossary book. The second lesson, uh, I tell the pupils to read aloud from the text. Each pupil reads a paragraph or so from the poem. After that, I want to know what the pupils know about Halloween. And I used the, uh, the technique think, pair, share. The first is think. I asked the pupils to write down three to five words or sentences about what they think when they hear the word Halloween. After that, I tell them to pair up with a learning partner and compare what they have written and maybe try to come up with other things. Finally, I let the pupils take turn to tell the class one thing that they have uh, written down together with a learning friend. Uh, and I continue that to until everyone has uh, said it, all they have. While they do that, I draw a mind map on the whiteboard, uh, including everything the class shares. If we have time, I make the pupils copy this mind map. If not, I simply take a photograph of the mind map and I print it out and give it to the pupils. Uh, then they can use the, the mind map when they are writing the story later. Now I give them the assignment to write a story about uh, Halloween. Uh, I tell them where and how to where to write it and how to save and share it so that I can read their stories and comment up upon them. Um, in this case, they will get two different assignments and get to choose from them. Uh, if they cannot finish their story. Uh, they will uh, be asked to finish it at home and read it to the grown-ups at home. Lesson 3 starts with a glossary test. Uh, I use glossary tests to motivate the pupils to study the new words every week. Based on personal experience, I know that if I do not test them, after a while, the majority of the pupils will not study the new words. After the test, I invite the pupil to read their text aloud in class. If there are only a few or if nobody wants to read, we simply talk the rest of the lesson about their expectations to the upcoming night of tricks and treats. Thank you for listening.